What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ed Savage bringing you guys another banger. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, sub, stay locked in because you're rocking with the game. But today's video is story time. That's the topic. It's still reptile related. But I just want to share a funny story with you guys. It wasn't so funny back then when it did happen to me. But uh, it is reptile related. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want to see more of this, man, comment below. And you guys stay locked in, man. But uh, when your boy was 12 years old, I was just, we used to stay on the, uh, you could say it's a main street or a side street, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we had like a backyard and we had a neighbor. His backyard was connected with our backyard. And he had uh, this little small park with rocks, but it was a big old hole in his backyard. And we used to go, we used to go over there all the time. We used to cross over the yard. We'd go over and go play baseball, kickball. He had a real big tree in the yard. I still remember this man from being just 12 years old, so I still remember that, man. So it's still fresh in here. Uh, Cause when I was a kid, man, me and my brother and sister, it's nine of us, but at the time it was probably about five, six of us that was active. But uh, we used to be getting into all type of stuff, but when it rained, it used to rain a lot. We stay in Cleveland, so it, was, it rained a lot. We get different seasons down here, but when it rained, it would fill that hole up and it became a pond. So we used to see, we used to catch little toads, little American tree frogs over there. Well, now I don't know the American tree frog, but just little regular tree frog that you might see on a bike trail or something like that. Uh, but we used to get a lot of different animals that, was, that would visit the yard just because of that, that little hole right there in the ground. And mind you guys, the backyard was only so much big, but the hole, the, the, it was basically like a little pond when it rained. It filled up and it stayed filled up for a long time. All type of little critters to come over there. But mind you guys, one of their uh, animals, I'll give you guys a guess. If you guys want to guess what animal, I'm, what type of reptile I'm talking about, comment below. You can pause this video, see if you write at the end. I will reveal the animal that I'm talking about in the, the video. It's not the same one from when this happened, but it's the same species. So you guys keep listening, man. But uh, we found this animal. We we brought it in. We kept it. Gave it a good home and everything. So that was a plus. We saved this animal. I had this animal for so long. It became a pet. We got it. Uh, we got we took it to the vet, got it treated, made sure everything was good, no diseases, anything. But I ended up keeping this animal, which is a reptile. But one at the time when I was twelve, you know, I was still I was just getting into reptile. I didn't have so many I didn't have many that much experience with reptiles at the time. You know, I was just getting into the hobby. I didn't even get my first gecko yet. I only had a a, to, a little toad frog at the time. So this this next reptile that I found, it was like a big upgrade to me, man. I was so happy. I feel like it's one of the most underrated reptiles in the reptile game right now. You can find them anywhere. They're not hard to get. Easy to take care of. Give you guys a couple clues. If you don't keep the tank and everything together, man, they can't smell. They do live in water, but they also can come out of the water. So you guys got that and you can take them clues, man. Maybe you might know what I'm talking about before the end of this video. If you guys think you know where reptile I'm talking about, man, comment below. But let's get back into the story. I was being an irresponsible reptile owner at the time. I didn't know anything about no type of reptiles for real. So I picked this reptile up. I was playing with it. Rule number one when it comes to reptiles, man, you know, don't pin them all in your face. I had this, I had a, I had them in my face playing with them. And next thing I know, this little guy was hanging on the top of my lip right here. Have he was just he bit on my lip and he he locked on my lip and he was just hanging. And I'm 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 panicking. I'm I'm yelling, telling my mama, you know. I'm, the animal not releasing the bite so it, it wasn't releasing the pressure or anything at all it was really on, it was on my lip for probably about five minutes i ran into the bathroom try to run run some warm or cold water on it to see what that helped this thing would not get off of me for five minutes and once we did once we was able to pry it off and get it off because eventually i had to keep running into the water on my face and it finally released the bite and the pressure of the bite so the animal came out unharmed but i didn't end up leaving out with a uh basically like a gash on my lip it was bleeding and everything so that was one of the stupid things i ever did when it came to reptile i was only 12 man just getting into the hobby didn't know anything about the animals at all or these species of reptile didn't know anything for real but a little about little frogs and stuff but long story short man i'm gonna go ahead and reveal this guy to you guys for you guys to know what type of species i'm talking about if you guys before i do that i'm gonna give you guys a couple more seconds to go in there and drop them comments below so while you guys doing that i'm gonna be right back 
So you guys ready? Did you guys drop them comments below? So the the winning red towel, which I'm talking about. These guys, man. We got this big turtle, man. Mr. Rescue Turtle Rosie, I say a long time ago. I still have her. She done been with me for almost three, two years now. So same turtle that I found a long time ago. We call him Speedy. He was probably about this big compared to her. Real small. And this little guy was little. So I had him all in my face. I was, mm -mm, and you know, man, turtles can be aggressive. They snap. They ready to bite. They ready to take anything down. And these guys do got some powerful bites. Can probably rip your finger, some skin off the finger, tear sun on your finger. So these guys are very underrated. Nobody really talk about turtles for real, but I love turtles. I do want to get some more, probably another three or four of them. Eventually, when I do move out this house, get me a bigger house and try to get me a backyard with a nice little area I can set up a pond for these guys. But till then, I'm probably going to do, do some tub being set up. So if you guys want to see me get some more turtles and do some live show you guys how to do it a cheap way set up some tub bins some nice big gallons of tub because she she got a tub bin which i showed you guys a long time ago in one other video some months ago so we got to upgrade her to a bigger tub but they really do good in them tubs the heat lamp we got the filter going the water stay clean they're going way more areas from around versus a terrarium or a tank in my opinion everybody got their own way to doing you can keep you guys in a 50 i say 55 gallon at least but uh this guy been getting bigger. Excuse me. This guy has been getting bigger, man. Whole hand. Like, but yeah. The animal that bit me on my lip when I was 12 years old was a very long time ago, guys. It was a small turtle just like this, but way smaller. And the little dude is on my lip just dangling, dangling. But, man, not going to keep you guys any longer. You guys enjoy this video. You want to hear more stories about my reptiles, what happened in the past with a bunch of my old reptiles. You guys like this? Comment below, man. We can do some more story time. I got a bunch of reptile stories I can tell you guys. Look out for more live reaction videos. And make sure you guys stay tuned. Because when we get some more leopard geckos coming in, you guys will be the first to see it. But till then, man, me and my girl Rosie is out of here. You like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, sub to the channel. Stay locked in because you're rocking with the gang. And it's your boy, Ed Savage. Peace. Until next time.